Yo, what up gamers for Pro Dark here. Welcome to my Art of Monster series where today we're going to be playing Zaya ADC. For runes, we're going to be running Lethal Tempo, trying out the Overheal, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Gathering Storm, and Celerity. So the matchup is going to be Zaya Blitz into Misfortune Brand. Should be a pretty good matchup for us. Zaya Blitzcrank have really, really good synergy. Uh, probably uh, Blitzcrank is probably the best support for Zaya right now, and Zaya, who's in a pretty good state, is also probably the best ADC for Blitz. Meanwhile, Brand Misfortune is a decent lane, but they do get countered by Engage, which, you know, Blitz has up the wazoo. Is it going to be a hard counter to what Brand wants to bring into this lane, which is just long-range poke without actually committing to a fight? First hook should probably easily blow his flash. Second one kills him. With any luck, we even kill him off the first hook. Since we do have really good follow-up to Blitz hooks with um, Zaya locked down. But we'll have to wait a little bit for that to happen. So at the moment, we're just going to try and do our best to avoid poke. We don't want to get too low before... I was blessed already lost that much HP before we get a chance to engage. If we get too low, then we're gonna lose a fight even if we engage, right? So this is how you have to play these lanes. You just play super defensively, wait for your chance to shine. There we go, just narrowly avoiding some of those brand W's. <laughs> it's okay if I hit, get hit by one or two, because we stomp the all-ins, but we definitely need to not be like losing all of our HP just to try and get one last hit, you know? Okay, we only missed 3 CS. Okay, at this point, Bliss should be able to land a hook at any second. At least he has a good position too. Oh, he's standing way too far back for that. Unfortunately, there like our lane definitely does take, I guess, more skill to play than theirs. Because they can just mindlessly keep throwing poke and some of it will be bound to land, especially if the brand is. Whereas Blitz, you know, it's not entirely impossible for Bliss to spend like six minutes without landing a hook. And if he doesn't land a hook, we're not going to do anything in this lane. But hopefully that won't be the case. Just barely got that one. So I'm not trying to stop Brent from hitting the turret because I wouldn't be able to guarantee that Blitz can actually land an engage. Or land a hook. So far he just keeps going for them when they're out of range. <laughs> it's so bad to use your hook when you know it's not going to hit because then there's like 20 seconds where you can't pressure anymore. You at least want to hold on to your hook and just zone them, if anything. I think I'm going to miss that one. Yep. So we really want to land a hook soon. I'm not taking poke. Thankfully, but I am like, I keep missing farm that I shouldn't do just because we're getting shoved under turret, which they're only able to do because we're not killing them. Yep, there goes the undodgeable brandy. So I'm slowly running out of mana as well. Hmm. Okay, at least that's flash for flash. Basically, the next hook, even though he didn't lose HP, it might kill him, it might not. We'll see. When I was thinking that the one hook would force his flash, I was thinking more like he would actually get hit by the hook and then flash. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, good to ward here. They might still be in the lane, but I doubt it. Thought they'd try and choose a Blitzcrank lane. There we go. Really fast shove since I'm playing Zaya. So we do come out of this with a slight CS deficit, which is unideal for what should be a hard winning matchup. Still haven't had a single Blitzhook land, which is what I was talking about, but... And as the lane phase goes on, it does, it does just become like even more and more deadly for them to get hit by a hook. So hopefully we'll get one landed eventually. This 
This is also why I generally prefer uh, landing with Nautilus over Blitzcrank as well, because this hook is just straight up easier to land. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have wasted either, my bad. I'm gonna pop the Ghost here, because this will be a kill. There we go. She gonna heal me? I can't tell. I gotta assume that, uh, okay, this is fine. Got her. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say that I just gotta assume at that point that I'm not getting a heal from her. I played it safe. Waited for cooldowns. Right, that took ages to kill her, but we should still be able to crash this in before Brand arrives, hopefully. He might be able to freeze, though. I mean, I definitely he definitely won't be here in time to stop me pushing, but he might freeze. I can't really prevent that on this HP. Yep. <sighs> Damn it. Second so cult took forever. Okay, he did place vision. Okay, I just gotta let it happen. <laughs> gotta recall. I'll just pick up another potion while I'm here. It is important that we remain high HP at all times to capitalize on blitz hooks. That was a decent engage from him, by the way. Even though it may have resulted in, in him dying as well. Like, it would have been even better if I had my E up, I guess, but... Even so, still quite a stomp of a fight. Nature bends towards chaos. Give in or break. Ooh, Bl uh, Brand should be warding. This should be a free kill. There we go. You see what I mean? Just free kills every time. No flash, no life. Ow. We can also actually just remove all of the minions here. Damn it. So we can remove uh, all the minion cover from Misfortune. We can maybe try and land the Bliss Hook on her under turret. I'm gonna pop a potion in case we engage. So we don't necessarily need to dive here, but what we can do is try and fish Misfortune from out of her turret. Like that. Got her. Oh, she just leveled up at the end. I think my damage still stuck. Mmm, that guy's level 6. Also. I might die here if I'm unlucky. Okay, we're good. I think the Berserkers, uh... Yeah, definitely were very crucial. Here, <laughs> if he'd, uh... If he'd had Sorcerer's Shoes to my 0 boots, or even tier 1 boots, I think I was dead there. Not bad, not bad. At least the advantage over Blitzcrank, uh, of Blitzcrank over Nautilus is increased hook range and also better scaling. So, the moment we're not necessarily winning lane harder than we would have with Nautilus, but he is going to scale better, I believe. And there's also the fact that he has uh, he has more in situations he can engage in. Like Nautilus, there he he would have to fully commit for that. Whereas for Blitzcrank, like I said, it's not even a dive. I didn't want a diver. I just wanted to hook her out from the turret where we don't have to dive. Oh, this might be bad. Eh, no, this is fine. I want to stay away from Brand, though. I don't know that he's used ult. Yeah, there is his ult. Oh, boy. Brand has no mana. Damn it. I should have hit. Okay. Yeah, not bad. I get away here. And Belveth should know it. Because she should know that I popped the ghost. She should know. She has no chance. So I was pushing towards the send us again away. I'm gonna hope Belveth isn't just randomly trying to find me. I don't want to delay my recall too much here. So I was in the perfect state to just leave it there. I'm gonna leave already. Yeah, personally, I would say Blitzcrank is actually better for this uh, lane than Nautilus would have been. Just purely because he so hard counters them. Better roams too. And that will lead to a goal for Vladimir. Nice one. He used his ult for that, but that doesn't matter. We don't need his ult too much in lane. Like, Blitz ult or no ult, we still just pretty much one-shot them. If she wants to go for this plating, I'll let her. I don't want to 
give up my HP just looking at her. Oh, Moffat is roaming. No way to pull that off, though. So again, we can just uh, shove this wave, remove the meaning cover from his fortune. The, the advantage of Blitz versus other hook supports is that you don't actually have to care too much about shoving, about not keeping the wave shoved. Most hook supports would want the wave to be as like close to your side as possible, but Blitz can just push them out from under the turret, bring them towards you. In fact, if anything, it's good to remove meaning cover uh, from Blitzcrank, even if it leaves them under turret, because you can just fish them out. And the less minions there are, and like obviously there's less obstacles for the enemies to hide behind. Any hook that lands here is going to be a kill, or they flash out. Okay, almost a kill still. Just He just barely didn't uh, chain his CC properly. So he should have been able to land his E directly after his... After his Q, but even, even if he fails at that, he could also just like silence the mid-pull. So that... I don't know why he recalled there. So that they also can't immediately flash out if he fails to immediately E. And he failed at both of those. He did use ult, but it was it didn't silence in time, and the knockup also didn't knock up in time. So just recalled here with Blitz, I guess, but there was no reason not to keep pushing for Misfortune, in my opinion. I got no cooldowns, but they're coming up. Oh, hello. I've got ult up. Ow, oh, wait, I might be in trouble here. I was not cutting on... Yeah, I wasn't cutting on the Misfortune slow, which uh, made it impossible to dodge the Brand Q. I should have ulted it, I think. Either that or just flashed it. If I flash onto him, he's dead. But I didn't expect Brand to still be there. That was really weird as well. But that was entirely on me for deciding to go on him as well, though. But still weird. Like, what would he be sticking around for when our, even our Blitzcrank recalled? And Blitzcrank is the one that forced the Brand flash and forced Brand to low HP. Like, how is Brand deciding to stay there while Blitz is recalling? Like, what? So backwards. Anyway, I didn't think about which mythic I was going here, by the way, but Kraken Slayer is pretty much always fine on Zaya. Her ultimate means she doesn't need too much safety from real force. Nice one. <laughs> she did not need to flash there. Always better safe than sorry, though. Oh yeah, we can get it. There we go. Oh, stop taxing my farm. God, that's like two waves. She hasn't taken the entire waves, obviously, but it's still annoying. God, I might need to ghost here. I need to ghost. God damn it. I wanted to go check their grump. Oh, god damn it. I'm so fucked. Let's keep getting collapsed on, man. They keep trying to make plays on me. Ah, <sighs> my bad. Okay, that's one dead misfortune, I think. She does enough heal. Oh, no, she lived. She didn't even heal. Alright, well, that blows. I need to go bot here. Oh, I solely crap that damage. Night Harvester and D Dark Harvest. A lot of harvesting going on. Whole lot of harvesting. Props are fruitful this year.
Okay, I'm gonna rest check in the Gromp again. I know that I have vision, their vision went out. Okay, W was too risky to use here, but hopefully it works out. I wanna save my W in case I have to get into a fight since it's my strongest fighting tool. Victors are the sole authors in history. I think they have vision somewhere. Res very clearly. Walked up and then immediately walked away as soon as we passed a certain point. my ult up if I need it, but Misfortune is top instead of ganking me this time. Ow. Ah. Nice, you avoided the brand passive, I think. That's a Belveth. She's gonna dash on me and knock me up. Dash or flash on me. Jesus. Okay, my bad, I think. Unnumbered. Again. It's been all three of my deaths. Did I get the cannon? Nice. Anyway, somebody else should be going bot. Vlad, you could've gone bot. We Vistaya are only half of our full glory. Okay, I got ult up. Nice. Damn it. We can check their wolves. I doubt they're... Oh, they actually are up. Okay. Alright, Nidalee will take them. Oh, what the... What the fuck? Okay. Man, I missed a lot of farm there. Three melees. Which are a lot more gold than the casters. Hmm... Numbered again. Well, not really. Blitz was outnumbered. I guess I'll just keep pushing here. They seem to be collapsing on bot lane. Are they all there? I think everyone but Misfortune. Maybe it's a mistake to use this W. Okay, she's coming to the fan, but I'll have this turret by then. I can use Ghost to try and kill her, maybe. If I even need to. Yeah, I will. There we go, don't even need to use ult. Definitely should have said W though, that was a mistake. Without W, or with W, I would have uh, preserved even more HP. Probably still have the ghost either way though, just to even reach her to auto. Oh, to be fair, if I didn't use W, the turret would have gone down slower, would have baited her into a fight. Oh, what the fuck? I hate Belveth's void link so much, man. Okay, I can kill them pretty fast as Zaya at least. Alright, I'm basing. I'm gonna worry. Nice time I'm gonna do Bloodthirster. Should be fine. Don't need um, don't need an armor pin here. And it's gonna synergize really nicely with our overheal as well. Uh, the faster we get to full HP, the more we can stack that overheal. Plus, I was already doing this on previous patches anyway, even without using overheal. It just feels really nice doing doing Bloodthirster third as an ADC in the current patch when you're really ahead. Makes it so easy to carry. Okay, they have that. Their blue's coming up. We should move from the Drake to their blue buff, I think. Nice, well, Beth dead. Awesome. We could try and do Baron now as well. 
<laughs> like, really, the best call here is to do Baron, not to do blue buff. Or even push mid. Oh, definitely push mid here. They're all top. Talking to anybody about anything is never on my to-do list. Try and rush this turret down fast before the minions die. Got this dead so fast, but I think we still got it. There we go. Should be also an inhib, I think. There we go, got it. We don't need to move on to Baron, but... Can we get the red? No, red is down. Wolves are up for an Italy. Okay, I guess I can go bot. Does anybody have TP? Malphite does. I think, if anything, Malphite should go bot. Is he gonna go there? If he's not, then I'll go. I guess I'm going. It's not ideal for me to be on the opposite side of Baron. Without TP up, but... Really seems a waste to let this wave go to waste. Plus, hopefully the enemy... I mean, the enemies don't currently have a position on the Baron anyway, but... Yeah, this should be fine. They're nowhere near in position. Oh. Yeah, just was trying to collapse on me. I would have beat him but one we won by the way. That was a mistake from him if he didn't have allies chase or like collapsing on me with him. I think I'll just space here for a BF sword. Just need fifteen gold. There we go. I'm gonna get this red buff. Nice one. So currently over overheal is basically adding up 240 HP. We basically have 2,000 HP at the moment. Ooh, lord. Wait, that's just gonna be ending the game, right? Bit boring. What if that ace came out of nowhere, but... Jace will have to TP or recall. <laughs> Jace is just trolling as well, like, what the fuck? You'd at least try and do the 1v3 defense. Oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.